All right, so I know you guys have seen everybody overseeing this fall, but if you're the person who's like, I don't want to overseed, I don't want to rent the aerator or pay for someone to come aerate, I don't want to dethatch, but I want my yard to look the best it can be this fall going into 2024, this is what else you can do. If your lawn is a little bit thin and you want it to look a little bit better, fall, Ooh, it's windy out. Fall time is the best time to get your lawn looking right for the end of the year going into 2024. What can you do? Fertilize and pre-emergent. It's science. It sounds easy enough and it really is because when the soil temperatures are coming down to that 50 to 60 range, 55 to be more specific, everything wants to germinate at 55. So pre-emergent will stop all the weeds from growing in your lawn and then your grass will have that window to really start growing strong and thicken up when you apply fertilizer. Hammer it with the nitrogen. It's also the best time because stores are starting to switch to the next season, which is winter. So they're starting to have stuff on sale. Go check out your stores, look to see if any fertilizer is on sale, get it and throw it down because you want your lawn to grow as strong as it can right before winter. That way in the spring, it will be in that state as again, and you'll have a better success rate in 2024. If you're looking for the best fertilizer to use, Just eat that. <gasps> Leave us alone. my go-to is Melorganite, as well as the Anderson Company. I've used a couple bags this year. Great product. Get yourself a couple holes in sprayers, spray the lawn down, and get that grass growing as thick and as lush as you can going into winter. I like the idea of it more than I actually like it. The specifics on pre-emergent. If you're not seeding, you can go with a prodiamine and that is sold online. You can find it on Do My Own. You can just find it on Yard Mastery. If you are seeding, tenacity because the mesotrion, the, the chemical that's used in tenacity, does not kill your grass seed, but it kills the weed seeds. So it is safe to use when you seed. Let the master show you how to get it done. The other product that I just dabbled in was Scott's, if you're a Scott's fan, if you do the Scott's five-step program or whatever it is, they have a triple action, it's like a little bit green, it's got starter fertilizer in it with mesotrion. If you like to just wing it and fling it, that is another good option. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, it's like 50 bucks for, and it covers 4,000 square feet. So it's a little bit more pricey than getting a pre-emergent like prodiamine or tenacity using your sprayer and spraying that down. It's gonna be a lot more cost effective doing it that way. But if you're a Scots fan and you have a spreader, that is another great thing to do. Those are your two choices. I highly recommend using a pre-emergent this year to, to stop your weeds, stop them from spreading. That way spring comes around and you have a lot less weeds. So if you decided not to overseed this year, make sure you just keep mowing really frequently that will give you the healthiest grass, as well as keep throwing fertilizer down. Get that grass growing thick and strong. And also make sure to throw down some sort of pre-emergent, whether it be liquid or granular. Let's have a great fall and get into 2024 with a success. See you guys later.